Hi guys, uh, I've got a video for you here today and this is a rebuild video and what I'm going to be rebuilding is this my Trident Dripper I have got a review video on this um, I'm not really going to talk much about the Dripper in this one it's just going to be the rebuild of it to try and keep it as short as possible um, if you're after a review and opinions on it only my opinions, not facts. Uh, go and watch um, the review video. So we'll uh, crack on. I'll go to close up cam and we'll rebuild it. It's at the moment it's in um, it's in dual coil mode. There you go. And I am just going to do a single coil. Um, but everything I do basically just uh, double it up for a um, apart from your ohms. If I get, I'm going to aim for about one ohm. Yeah, one ohm resistance, round about or just over slightly. Whatever I do, just half it. So if I get one point two with uh, whatever, however many wraps of canthal. When you do it twice, the the arm's half. So just remember that. Uh, I might at some point. I've got a scale. Um, it's just a guide, though. You should always check your arms with an arm reader. I'll I'll stick that up for five, ten seconds, whatever, so you can have a look at it. So close up cam. Right then. So this is it. And I'm going to remove the drip tip and this section here. And I'm going to leave it on the EVIC for now just to make it easier. I am using the most simple tools I could find for this just to show that it's not that difficult. So I'm even going to show taking it all apart. Normally I don't, I don't do this. Uh, So all this here, all this, this is just, if you've watched my other video, the, these coils here are the coils that came on it when it arrived, because I've not had it that long. I'll just uh, clean it off a bit. Sorry, I'm doing all this off camera. I'm uh, having to use my iPad to film my close up stuff at the moment because I can't get my camera to work. I've got some bits of old wick trapped, and I can't really see where they're trapped. So, here I'm using some silica wick 2mm, which you can, you can use whatever size you want, really. Um, it's just what I had lying around, and I'm going to use here some... Some 20 gauge cantho. I'm just going to cut myself a bit off with some scissors. Right, so how am I going to do this? I'm going to do a. I'm struggling with whether to do a single 
coil or a dual coil, I'm not really sure. If I do. I'm thinking if I do one big coil. Yeah, let's do one big coil. Alright, so I'm just folding my wick in half. And if I do that, and then I can wrap it around both sides here. So, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cantho, and just wrap it up over, oh, sorry, over both sections like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. So go for six wraps. If I go for six, six here. Uh, I'm just trying to remember. <coughs> I'm just trying to remember what arms it'll give me. Tell you what, we'll do a way. I'll, I'll show a way to test it. Right, so here you've got a negative, negative, and a positive post in the middle. So you want, you obviously want one round your negative and one round your positive. And if you, if you, if you, if you did a dual coil. Then you'd have one round your negative on one side and one round your negative on the other and two go to the middle post. So look, if I can, if I can wrap it, because I've left one of my, oh sorry guys, I've left one of my, um, I've left this one here for my negative, I've left it a bit short. I left it too short to pull it around, but I've managed to grip hold of it with the scissors. Let's tighten it up a bit. It's really difficult to keep it in the camera when I'm using the iPad. Normally I've got a much wider range of movement. Not that I managed to do it with that when I use my camera either. And I'm blocking the camera with my hands. And this video is going to look awful. Thanks to anyone that watches it. My horrible camera skills. So I'll uh, hook this round the positive. I'm leaving it really long because I've got it, because I'm doing it on the EVIC. What I'll do once I've tightened this up, I'll just uh, I'll turn the camera on. Uh, turn the camera on. I'll turn the EVIC on because it will check my arms and if it's the right arms then I'll cut this off if it's not then I'll unwrap a bit or I'll uh, are we wrap around there yeah if it's uh, if it's the right arms I'll uh, I'll leave it I'll just cut it off the excess cancel if it's not I'll unwrap it or I'll wrap it up more Right, right. So that's done. Then just lift, lift it up. Make sure it's not touching the bottom, so we don't get no shorting. Right, turning it on. Three point two. Oh, buggered that off, haven't I? What have I done there? Well, I've well and truly messed that up. And we're on 11 watts as well. <laughs> Why the hell have I done that? How have I done that? Why 
why have I got 3.2 ohms? Oh. Right, I'm definitely going to have to take a couple of wraps off. Um, or do I just put another coil in and half it? I think that's most... <laughs> I think that is what I thought I was doing. I think I was making a jewel coil. Right. Right, so I've um I've unwound it a bit and I've dropped it to 2.2, .2, which is better. So it's seven watts. And uh if you can see it's uh, all sort of glowing nicely together. Can't really tell there's no hot spots though, so it's working alright. Uh, let's bang a bit of juice on. Not the best coil I've built. It's alright though. It's working. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, ow, it's hot, I'm going to put it back together, I'm just going to wrap everything around, might have to trim these off a bit but it, uh, it should be alright. Put it back together, a little close up cam and we'll give it a go, uh, normal cam sorry. Right guys, so, um, rebuilt it, I've uh, put it back together and I've let the liquid soak in. I'm still trying it on the EVIC at 6.5 watts. Um, sorry, I'm a bit sticky from the juice. I have put the one singular big air hole to the side where the, um, where the coil is. Um, you can have two, you can have both if you want, you can have both, where's the other one, there, you can still have the, the other air, air hole open if you want to, but I just had the one. So I'm going to do a straight long inhale on this, just because I like doing it on drippers uh, that are this airy, <clears throat> it won't be, I'll, I'll have a go, I'll do a normal drag on it first and then I'll uh, I'll show you the difference. Sorry, I did a straight long inhale then by accident. You can see, you, see, you still get vapour. So, but I'll do a straight long inhale. So as you can see, just produce it, just chucks it out. So it's a fantastic little beast of a dripper. This. Um, so that's the rebuild. My comments on the actual device itself. Go watch my other video. Um, go into a bit more detail as to price and whatever. So. Go check that out if you're interested. Uh, so, thanks for watching. If you managed to keep watching after my terrible rebuilding skills on such a small uh, camera. Um, so, please subscribe. 